Hi there. So today we're going to be slicing up our homemade bacon. So we went out and got a, a used slicer from Facebook Marketplace. And I think we paid about 40 bucks Canadian for this. And a slicer like this retails for somewhere between 150 to 180 dollars Canadian. And you know, if you look around for deals, you might be able to get a little cheaper when it's brand new. But we like to buy a lot of stuff used. Now this one, they uh, said they only used it a couple of times and they just didn't really find it that useful for them. But being that we're carnivore, uh, it's going to be a lot more use for us. So let's get started. Here's what we're looking at here. This is our is a cutter and we got a, a tub full of the bacon slabs. You know, we've used some of this already, but we want to just be able to cut the rest of this up. And now if we look, if we look on the back here, here's how we adjust the depth of the cut. So we just turn this lever We've already done some initial cleaning on this and oiled up the, the slide and everything so it slides nice and easy. Now to take it apart for cleaning, you're gonna to wanna to, uh, look up in your manual that, that came with yours, but it's pretty simple. We didn't have a manual with ours, but it's just this little tab that comes out. So if you, when you wanna take the blade off, so you just turn that tab uh, like a quarter of a turn and the blade can come off. You can see the gear on the back, and the gears in there. So, to put it back, you just stick it back in the same place. Sometimes you gotta turn it a little bit to get it to seat. And then you turn that till it won't turn anymore. And then we pop that tab down. Okay, now we've got this glass pan here. Just gonna stick this in behind catch the meat as we're cutting it and I'm just going to uh, put on some gloves well these are just some basic nitrile gloves you can pick up at the local pharmacy uh, a lot of um, larger grocery chains will have this as well so you pick up a box it's got like a hundred or hundred pair in them okay and you want to do these when they're refrigerated they're a little stiffer and they're easier to cut. So if we take a look here, we're not gonna be able to clear the blade if we keep them full size. So we're gonna to need to cut these down a little bit. All right, we're just gonna take this slab and we're gonna cut it in half. So this lets us get our our bacon in there. Can't use this at first. Now the first couple of cuts are gonna be a little wonky until it gets it all squared off. So we'll just turn it on, away we go. <laughs> So I just want to note that as we're cutting this, you know, when we get to this to this part, you need to release the pressure a little bit because the blade is still turning and it's, it's trying to keep pushing it this way. So you just let off the pressure a little bit as you bring it back and then you slide it down. And if you hold too much pressure on one side or the other, it's gonna slowly start skewing to one side and then you'll have some weird, a couple weird shaped slices at the end. 
So just something to be aware of. Now, if any of you are more experienced with using one of these than I am, I mean, this is the first time I've used one in like 40 years. So if you've got any any tips on maybe keeping it from just kind of falling, building up back here or any other little tidbits you want to share, make sure to drop a comment down in the description. But we'll just finish cutting up this slab. We're good. <laughs> Well, that sure made that a lot easier. Just being able to cut up all these slabs of bacon so quickly, it's definitely worth the price of admission even if we never used it again. But I can guarantee you we will. So this is how thick we're making these slices. So that's a nice little slice of bacon. Now I'll probably do some up a little thinner for the sake of Mrs. Fuzzy D. But look at that. That is a gorgeous stack of home cured bacon right there. Now, if you're interested in curing your own bacon, uh, I've got a series of videos in this same playlist. So I encourage you to take a look at that. And there are some some caveats that you should that you'll be made aware of and when you watch the videos for the particular type of cure that I used. And to be perfectly honest, the cure that I use, I probably won't use that method again. I mean, it worked, but re it required so much soaking afterwards to pull the salt level back down that you might as well just do a liquid brine to begin with. And next year when we buy another pig, that's what we'll do. And I'll make sure that I film that as well. So this was just a quick video today to show you slicing up this bacon. Don't need to show you the rest because it's just going to be more of the same. All right, folks, we're done with our slicing. Just thought I'd show you a quick view of it here. So there's the slicer that we used. And on one side, we've got some really nice... Come on, focus. So there we've got some really nice thick slices. And then over here, we've got some really super thin slices that my wife likes. So we got bacon for Fuzzy D and Mrs. Fuzzy D. And then a few scraps that we'll be frying up tonight along with some hamburger for supper. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our future videos coming out. We'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.